Hell yeah, you got it, my baby. What is going on everyone, Ken here, Developer Relations at Taoshi, back with another video. Today I want to talk about something that's absolutely revolutionizing how we think about AI compute. If you've ever struggled with the complexity and cost of running an AI model, or if you're tired of being locked into expensive cloud providers, then what I'm about to share is going to blow your mind. We're deep diving into shoots that subnet 64 on the BitTensor network. And trust me, the numbers we're seeing are absolutely incredible. What exactly is Shoots? Well, in simple terms, Shoots is a decentralized serverless AI compute platform. I know that's a mouthful, but let me break that down for you because this is where it gets interesting. Imagine you want to deploy an AI model. Maybe you're building a chat bot, doing some image generation or processing a massive amount of text. Traditionally, you have to deal with setting up your own servers, managing infrastructure, configuring GPUs, and probably spending way more time than you would like. But here's the magic. You can deploy, run, and scale any AI model literally in seconds. We're talking about going from an idea to live deployment faster than you can make a cup of coffee. Whether you're working with large language models, text-to-speech applications, image generation, or streaming AI services, Shoots handles it all. And the platform abstracts away all the complex infrastructure stuff. You just bring your code and Shoots does the rest. No DevOps experience required, no complicated setup processes, just pure simplicity. Now, you might be wondering what makes Shoots so much better than the centralized players like AWS, Google Cloud, or Microsoft Azure. Well, there are several game-changing advantages here. First, let's talk about cost efficiency. With traditional cloud providers, you're often paying premium prices because you're essentially funding their massive profit margins and overhead costs. With Shoots, you're tapping directly into a decentralized network of miners who are competing to provide you the best service at the best price. This creates a natural market efficiency that drives costs down. Second, there's a flexibility factor. Traditional cloud services can be somewhat rigid. You're locked into specific configurations, their pricing models, their geographical limits with Shoots, you get access to a global network of compute resources. If one provider is busy or expensive, the network automatically routes your job to someone else who can handle it better. Here's something really important, censorship resistance and privacy. With centralized providers, your AI applications are subject to their term of service, their content policies, and potentially even government intervention. Shoots operates on a decentralized network, which means your applications have much greater freedom and privacy protection. The scalability is also incredible. Traditional cloud providers require you to predict your usage, set up auto scaling rules, and often deal with cold start delays. Shoots automatically scales based on demand across the entire network, giving you instant access to massive compute power when you need it. And let's not talk about the speed of innovation. Centralized providers move slowly. They have to accommodate and maintain compatibility with millions of existing customers. The decentralized nature of Shoots means it can adopt new technologies and optimizations much faster. Man, we're about to get a huge storm coming in.
This isn't financial advice. I never know what I'm talking about. And the use cases are honestly endless, but let me highlight some of the most exciting ones we're seeing right now. For developers, it's become the go-to platform for rapid prototyping. You have an idea for an AI feature, deploy it on shoot in seconds, test it with real users, get feedback and iterate. No more waiting days for infrastructure approval, approvals or dealing with complex deployment pipelines. Not only that, enterprises are leveraging shoots for batch processing jobs, things like processing massive data sets, training custom models, or running periodic AI analysis. The platform automatically handles the workload distribution and scales resources up and down as needed. We're seeing incredible innovation in the AI agent space. Through platforms like Squad that run on top of shoots, people are building sophisticated AI agents that handle complex, complex workflows, all powered by this decentralized compute infrastructure. Here's something that's really cool. Because Shoots integrates with platforms like OpenRouter, you get access to a huge variety of pre-trained models. You can run everything from the latest large language models to specialized image and audio processing tools all through the same interface. I know this, I used uh, OpenAI for one of the agents that I myself created. I have a Twitter agent, I won't say the name, but through OpenAI, through Shoots, I plugged into one of the large language models. Man, this video is way too long. I don't know what to do about pacing. Maybe I'll throw a random video in there. Now let's talk about the incredible growth numbers that Shoot is showing. Let's share some numbers that are absolutely mind blowing and show you why everyone in the AI space is talking about Shoots. Shoots is currently processing almost 160 billion tokens per day. To put that in perspective, that's roughly one third of what Google was handling with their AI service just a year ago. We're talking about massive scale here, but the growth trajectory is really what's incredible. Since January, the AI compute token demand on Shoots has grown by 250 times. That's not 250%, that's 250 X, 250 times growth. This kind of exponential adoption shows that developers and enterprises aren't just trying Shoots, they're making it a core part of their AI infrastructure. So what's driving this growth? It's simple. When you give developers and businesses access to powerful, affordable, and flexible AI compute, they're building amazing things. And when those things are ready to scale, Shoots is able to handle that scale immediately. And the network is constantly expanding too, with hundreds of high-end H200s and A6000s coming online to handle this growing demand. This isn't just a few people experimenting, this, because, this has become a serious alternative to traditional cloud computing for AI workloads. Now on top of that, here's another huge development that makes Shoot even more accessible. They're now accepting fiat payments. This might not sound revolutionary, but it's actually a massive deal for mainstream adoption. Previously, like many other blockchain-based services, you need to navigate cryptocurrency exchanges, manage digital wallets, and deal with the complexity of token economics just to get started. That was a significant barrier for many traditional businesses and developers who just want to focus on building their AI applications. Now you can literally pay with your credit card or bank transfer just like you would any traditional cloud service. This opens up shoots to an entirely new category of users enterprise customers, traditional startups, and developers who might have been hesitant to dive into the crypto space.
This fiat integration represents a bridge between the traditional tech world and the decentralized future. You get all the benefits of decentralized computing, the cost efficiency, the censorship resistance, the global network, but with payment simplicity you're already familiar with. Durant, back to Curry, dancing up a two, over the double team. Oh! Now let's talk about something that's creating a really interesting economic dynamic, the alpha token buyback model. This is where the tokenomics of shoots gets really smart. Here's how it works. All the revenue that shoots generates, whether it's from the fiat payments, token payments, or any other source gets used to buy back their alpha tokens from the market. This creates a constant buying pressure on the token, which benefits everyone who holds the alpha token. Think about it this way. As Shoots grows and processes more AI workloads, more revenue comes in. That revenue immediately goes back to buying the alpha token, which reduces the circulating supply and creates upward pressure on the token. It's a direct link between the platform's success and the token's value. This model is brilliant because it perfectly aligns incentive. The better Shoots performs as a business, the more valuable the alpha token becomes. Token holders aren't just speculating for f on future potential, they're directly benefiting from the platform's real-world adoption and revenue generation. We've seen similar buyback models work incredibly well both in tradi traditional finance and uh, with other crypto projects like Taoshi. Companies like Apple have used share buybacks to great effect and in the crypto space, like I mentioned Telshi, but other projects like Hyperliquid have generated billions in token buybacks through their fee revenue. What makes this particularly exciting for Shoots is we're still in the early phases. We're still in the early stage of this growth curve. As AI adoption continues to explode and more workload moves to decentralized compute, that buyback pressure is only going to increase. Looking ahead, what we're seeing with Shoots represents something much bigger than just another cloud computing platform. This is the beginning of a fundamental shift in how we think about AI infrastructure. The current model where a handful of tech giants control most of the world's AI compute capacity, it isn't sustainable. It creates bottlenecks, drives up costs, and gives too much power to a few decentralized entities. Shoots and the broader BitTensor ecosystem are pioneering a different path. We're moving to a world where AI compute is truly democratized, where developers in any country can access the same powerful infrastructure where innovation isn't bottlenecked by corporate policies or geographical restrictions where the economic benefits of AI advancement are distributed across a global network of participants rather than concentrated in a few Silicon Valley boardrooms the numbers we're seeing the 160 billion tokens processed daily the 250 times growth in demand these aren't just metrics, these are proof points that this decentralized future is not only possible, it's happening right now. If you're building with AI, if you're frustrated with traditional cloud costs, or if you're just excited about the future of decentralized technology, I highly recommend you check out Shoots. You can try it directly via their website at shoots.ai or you can integrate it into your application directly through their API. Make sure you give Shoots a follow on x at shoots underscore AI for the latest updates and developments. Trust me, you're going to want to keep an eye on this space because What's happening here is just the beginning. This is Ken Raleigh underscore CA on Twitter, YouTube at the same name. This isn't financial advice. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll catch you in the next one. Bro, you're a master at that.
you are a master at that. What? There we go, man. You own the skies, bro. <laughs>